But what about like how salmon tastes though? Okay, you see, that's the parasite talking. <laughs> that's the parasite that talking. You need a colonic, boo. She but needs yo, a colonic. Yo, Get that have, shit out. Have, also, you can't eat it raw. Anything you can't eat raw, I'm not gonna eat because we're not meant to eat it. If you can't eat it raw, it's sushi? not. Sushi is absolutely not meant to be eaten. You get parasites. Raw fish is disgusting, but people eat it anyway. People eat ass. Oh, people, what do you mean? Yo, ass well, is Well, we know who doesn't. It's disgusting. Disgusting. I'm. Let's not. Let's. The yeah, next yeah, video yeah. will be about whether ass is vegan or not. Okay, that's controversial. I'm but people eat. People eat. Maybe there's nothing wrong with ass. It depends on who's ass. Okay, let's move on. Hey guys, so we are here with a pescatarian. Question. What's that about? Why do you care about fish 28 days and not for two days a month? I'm so curious. I think that... Because you're vegan for... What, why are you... Why don't you eat meat? Like beef and chicken and... Oh, eggs? I don't. I don't. Why? I don't. I don't. Well, honestly, it started when I got education about how they were treating animals. Yes. And also how, how they were treating animals, one, the injustice against animals, but also how the food that I was eating was being treated. So two ways. Where did, where did you, why are you eating fish? I'm confused. So where I, did it come in that fish are, are not animals? So, okay, fish are animals. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, fish are animals. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, fish are animals. Yes. Yeah. So, okay, fish are animals. Yes. Yes. Okay, so yeah, tell me about fish. Why don't they okay. matter to you? So, oh, thanks. So, honestly. Ooh, that was for me. <laughs> no, 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 go on. No, here, here, here. No, well, no, 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 just let's talk about the okay, fish. Okay, so honestly, I went vegan because, honestly, because a lot of diseases exist in my family. Oh, yeah. And I was like, wow, yeah, what kind of diseases? Like um, osteoporosis, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, mm. um, lupus, things like that. And so I was like, wow, a lot of these Thank foods you. can be healed by, a lot of these illnesses can be healed by food. So I went vegan. And also I didn't like how they were treating the animals. How long have you been vegan? Delicious. I've been vegan for three years. Three years, but. Well, you're not. Like, hell no, let's back up well, now. Let's back I've up been now. vegan for You're two not vegan. I've been vegan for two and a half years. You were vegan for two and a half years. And then years. you became pescatarian. And then I became pescatarian. What happened? So then I realized that I was not getting enough calcium. Who in my, says who? Because my, I could feel it in my body. You could feel What was the side effects? My knees were like hurting and my back was hurting my mom has all were you doing any exercise were you stretching no. your a knees little, were hurting my knees were hurting no i was not doing exercise my mom has osteoporosis yeah. and arthritis so i was like you I know how people get that by eating too much dairy it leaches calcium from the bones how crazy is that that they tell us to eat calcium mm -hmm. for eat dairy for calcium but dairy leaches calcium from your bones because it has too much calcium it's crazy. and it's not the type that we need the and highest the, form of calcium, by the way, is spinach, so you should definitely be eating spinach every day. And what the, are you going to say? The Thank country, you. The countries with the highest dairy consumption, or people with the highest dairy consumption, have the highest rates of osteoporosis. Facts. That's crazy. And breast cancer, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, cut to two years later, fish don't matter anymore. What happened? <laughs> fish do matter. Well, so I was, two days like, I was like, listen, either I'm going to figure out how I can be vegan and save my body, in like two days because my body mm -hmm. was like my back was like hurting aching so then i was like i just have to eat fish because i was doing research and i just said i have to eat fish that's not ideally i would not want to stay that way but that's just what i've had to do because i know my family's history interesting how long have you been eating fish um since i've been vegan i only probably had like 12 servings of fish not a lot so six months mm-hmm You've noticed a difference? Like, it sustains me. Do you think it's placebo? Because the most powerful thing in the human... Can you give me a second, Wendy? The most powerful thing in the human body is the mind. So if your mind is telling yourself that the fish is what is doing it for you, then that is what's going to happen. But could you try spinach instead, possibly? Yeah, I could try like high doses of spinach. I mean, just having spinach every day, like, you know. Do you eat greens every day? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, but like kale and stuff. Here's why I don't eat fish. Thanks for asking. So <laughs> fish, number one, they feel pain. They feel a lot of pain. And it's fucked up to cause pain on any animal or being, right? That's fucked up. Number two, 
I don't eat fish because they have high, high, high doses of mercury. And once okay. you eat mercury, it can never be detoxified. Are you filming me? Okay, good. That, that's my good size. So you good. Now, Sharif is like totally not in the shower. I know. I was like. Because your hand. No, your hand was blocking him. You know. She was like this. No. Ah! She's doing it again. Okay. Um, so I don't eat fish because of the mercury, saturated fat. Also, you can't eat it raw. Anything you can't eat raw, I'm not going to eat because we're not meant to eat it. If you can't eat it raw, it's not. Sushi is absolutely not meant to be eaten. You get parasites. Raw fish is disgusting, but people eat it anyway. People eat ass. Oh, people. What do you mean? Yo, ass. Well, we know who doesn't. It's disgusting. Think of it. Ass is disgusting. Ass is disgusting. I'm, let's not, let's, the next video will be about whether ass is vegan or not, okay? That's controversial, but people eat, people eat, maybe there's nothing wrong with ass. It depends on whose ass, okay? Let's move on. It's like drinking from the toilet. <sighs> toilet water is way cleaner than tap water, they say, by the way. I'm just saying it, that's what Okay, I'm let's But toilet doesn't guess. have organisms that clean and fight diseases. Depends, has that ass been colonic? I'm just curious, it depends, it depends. Oh, I'm getting colonic. But colonic, you're, you're, that's the new, um. <laughs> I, okay, let's get back to really. Alright, so we're gonna end this video by you are gonna try for six months. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, but give me, alright, give me three months. Can you get off fish for three months? Fish are so dangerous for the you human body. Why not, why not start with two weeks? That, sorry, yeah, let's start with two weeks. Because you're not gonna feed. Well, because that's removing allegedly one, one fish eating day out of your life. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you don't eat enough fish. Right in three months, you're saying you eat fish six times. Right, true. Yeah. I promise you that you, if you had turmeric every day for your joints, because you you have you're experiencing some inflammation and okay. meat issues, turmeric every day for your joints, and greens, either spinach or kale or collard green or chard or arugula or dandelion greens or parsley or cilantro. Give me a second, Wendy. I'm on a roll here. So if you do that every single day, something green and turmeric for one month, I promise, I think you will see a difference. I mean, I think you would, cause you say you're healthy now, like you're feeling good now? Yeah. I think you feel better. Okay, so let's do it. Whoa. We get my handshake on this? You still eat chicken, right? No. Nuh-uh. Uh, I was just asking. No, she doesn't. I have a question about omega-3. Oh my God, I chicken. Where did you get it? Chia seeds, flax seeds, greens have omega-3s in it. Enough. Yeah, enough. Well, omega-3 is easy, B12 is hard. Yeah, B12 is hard. Mm -hmm. B12 is not hard. If you have a healthy have gut, say. it's not hard. All right, she's gonna take the challenge. Let's go. Um, one month. Just give me one month. Give me one month. So what is this? I'm eating greens every day. A, a serving of greens every day. A full turmeric. thing of greens. So I'm talking about. I need you to buy fresh spinach, buy fresh kale, put it in a blender, or eat, eat it. I need you to do that one, every day okay. for one month. And turmeric. Either you can add turmeric to your smoothie, fresh turmeric, juice turmeric powder, whatever it is. Pills. You want to take that pills. Whatever. But what if I like how salmon tastes though? Okay, you see, that's the parasite talking. That's the parasite that talking. You need a colonic, boo. She but needs yo, a colonic. Yo, Get that have, shit out. You have a better answer for that. What if she likes the way salmon tastes? There's vegan salmon. There's, yeah. There's where the awa thing, dude. There's a French vegan restaurant four blocks away. Are you for real? I'm gonna put the it's, link to it below. Yeah, what's it called? Tell me what it's called. It Sarah is called, and uh, Delice et Cerisse. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, it has the best uh, incredible. The, sm the smoked salmon. Incredible. It's Wait, incredible how it tastes like smoked salmon. There's no point in it. It literally is. It's carrots? Is it carrots? Is it carrots? I think you might be right. Okay. It Bagel? might be peas. Pete. Salmon in was it carrots? Carrot. I think it might have been carrots. Bacon. Right? The bacon was made of carrots. The bacon was so good too. Oh right? my goodness. You know what I filmed there? I was eating oranges the whole time and then I ordered orange juice and I was dipping my oranges in the orange juice pretending like, you know, mm -hmm. I was fucking comfortable. Yeah. But um, I should I should edit that video. It was a cool video. Okay, thank okay, you guys. So I'm gonna do the challenge. Yay! And follow her. What is your YouTube channel? Truth and Chaos. Whoa, wait, how many do you have? I'm just I'm gonna leave the link below. <laughs> I'm on the sheet. Yo, I have a thing with the new word chaos in it. For all what's yeah, what is it? I can't, I, it's a private thing. Yeah. She's gonna take the challenge. You're gonna follow her. She's gonna make some videos about it. Mm -hmm. And I, and she's gonna tag me below her video as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Just like birds and mammals, fish are sentient and capable of emotions. Excitement, joy, fear and pain. 
But millions of fish in Europe live in underwater factory farms and are killed in cruel and illegal ways. A recent investigation conducted by Compassion in World Farming into European fish farms and processing plants revealed the scale of welfare problems in this industry. Fish like sea bass, sea bream and salmon are farmed in sea cages. And species like trout are commonly farmed in concrete tanks. These are barren and unnatural environments where hundreds of thousands of fish are crammed into one cage or tank. Throughout their life, they experience stressful handling procedures. Sick fish are left to suffer and die in tanks or pens. They are simply not cared for. But the worst is still to come. Worldwide, 74 billion land animals are slaughtered for food. At the same time, up to three trillion fish are killed every year, and they die in horrific ways. At slaughter, fish are severely crowded and many of them get crushed to death during this process. Then they are commonly thrown into a mixture of ice and water where they experience severe thermal shock. As they fight to get out of the ice cold water, they start to suffocate as ice clogs their gills and they get crushed by other fish on top of them. As there is no adequate killing procedure, they fight for survival, gasping for air for an extremely long time. Some of them get paralyzed by the cold, but scientific studies reveal that they still remain conscious and feel pain and stress. In some cases, after more than an hour of this torture, they are still alive, while being packed into styrofoam boxes.